Hey everyone, so we recently witnessed one of the most targeted attacks in all of human warfare, the history of human warfare, where Israel specifically targeted members of Hezbollah and blew up their, and only their, beepers. Yet there were still some people who were, were offended by the fact that Israel was attacking terrorists. Check out this little clip from Douglas Murray uh, explaining the whole situation, giving us the layout. Listen to, listen to the words that he says. Go. I have to uh, get your thoughts on Hezbollah's uh, humiliation. It appears to be some of Mossad's most creative work and predictably, predictably it's uh, been attacked by many so-called progressives in the West who are calling the, the pager plot an act of terrorism. Uh, mm. How do you see this? Uh, I would have thought it was a very targeted attack to try to minimise casualties amongst non-combatants. Yeah, I mean, um, whoever did it, and we should add, I mean, it obviously looks like it was the Israelis, but I mean, Hezbollah have quite a lot of enemies, not least in the region. They've managed to destroy Lebanon since the 1980s, a once really thriving country that uh, Lebanon, uh, Lebanon has just suffered from this immiseration and violence since, uh, particularly since Hezbollah has had the grip it now has. Um, so they have a lot of enemies, but it looks like it was probably uh, Israel that did it. And uh, the people who claim that this is terrorism, I mean, I would just say, you know, the definition of terrorism is a deliberate targeting of innocent civilians. This is exactly the opposite mm. of that. This is the deliberate targeting of Hezbollah terrorists. Well, think, think about that point for a second. This is the exact opposite of terrorism. Terrorism is the deliberate targeting of innocence. This is the deliberate targeting of terrorists. It's the exact opposite of terrorism. Let him continue. Let's see. In the most uh, targeted, precise, and somewhat personal way imaginable. Uh, uh, this, you know, the people who, the people who say that, you know, this is indiscriminate seem not to have noticed that uh, if you have a Hezbollah pager device or a Hezbollah walkie-talkie on you, the chances are you may well be a member of Hezbollah, and Hezbollah is a designated terrorist organization, uh, and therefore you're just not innocent. So I suppose Hezbollah will try to um, to, to 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 spin this with their, with their useful idiots in the West. And these people are useful idiots at this point, or just enemies of the West, because let's let's be frank about it. If you're the sort of person, uh, as the people sort of howling about this on social media and on some, in some of the newspapers in the last couple of days have been doing, if you're one of those people howling about this, you can guarantee they're the same people who are howling about any uh, uh, collateral uh, injuries in any targeted strike, for instance, in Gaza or southern Lebanon in, in the last year or in recent years. You can be guaranteed of that. And now they claim you also shouldn't do the most precise thing of all, which is uh, making the pager devices of Hezbollah operatives explode. Just these guys should just come out and say it, which is they want Israel to be destroyed. They want Hezbollah and Hamas to win. They're on the side of the jihadists. Why don't these people have the guts to come out and say it? Because Israel can do nothing, nothing, from the, including the most targeted operation without these people saying that Israel shouldn't have done it. These people who are making these complaints in the last few days are people who want Israel to lose. That's fine. That's their view. I want Israel to win. These people want Hezbollah to thrive. I don't. I want to see them gone. I want to see them stop in mis um, making misery in Israel and making misery in Lebanon. But, you know, there it is. It's a very clear divide. And uh, just remember, of course, the munitions that, that Hezbollah uses are far from precise. And when they throw mm. um, hundreds and hundreds of of rockets, unguided missiles and others into Israeli territory. It has consequences like killing a dozen uh, Israeli Druze children whilst they're playing football. So I take the Israeli targeted strikes on actual Hezbollah terrorists over Hezbollah killing innocent children playing football any day. And if other people can't see that distinction, they probably can't see anything, Rita. Douglas Murray, thank you so much for your time this evening. Yeah, this is correct. This is absolutely correct. If a person, it, Israel did not ask for this war. Uh, terrorists had come in, they had killed purposely innocent people, and now Israel has the obligation to root out the terrorists that are causing this. Whether that is Hamas terrorists, whether that is Hezbollah terrorists, they need to root out the terrorists. And anyone who is is complaining about a specific 
targeted attack in particular with, with, the, with the Bieber system simply just doesn't want Israel to kill anybody. I don't want anybody to die. I don't want any innocent people to die. The unfortunate, the unfortunate reality in the scope of war is that innocent people die. I, I wish to God that, there, that this war didn't have to be fought. That, that I wish to God that this war did not have to be fought, that it wasn't brought upon Israel, that Israel wasn't attacked. But now that Israel has been attacked, Israel has the responsibility in order to root out the terrorists so that they don't continue perpetuating what they perpetuated on October 7th again and again against innocent civilians.